Welcome to Square One Games. My name is Exonovan, and this is my Road to Completion Guide preview. This series is designed to show you how to unlock every trophy this game has to offer, and I really hope you enjoy the run. Before we tackle the rules of the road, I just want to thank everyone who is currently supporting the channel financially. Your generosity is the reason I get to make guides. This channel would cease to exist without your support, so thank you. Now it's time for the rules of the road. My guides are optimized, which means items, quest lines, and other aspects of the game are often skipped to make trophy hunts efficient. It's important that you follow these steps to reduce questions and drastically speed up troubleshooting. My guides are meant to be followed from start to finish unless I say otherwise. If you plan to modify my guides, you need to have a good understanding of the game and the trophies. I may not be able or have the time to correct major issues, so be careful. Read through the comments section before asking questions because in most cases, your questions have already been answered. My pinned comment, which is always at the top of the comment section, is the first place you should look. Check my notes and the timeline. If you still have questions, press Ctrl plus F or look for the Find option in your web browser to search keywords. Press the arrows to skim through comments for all relevant conversations about your keyword. RTC Visual Guides and Workbooks provide the ultimate solution to efficient trophy hunts. Visual Guides break down trophy hunts into screenshots with very little notes. They are available as PDF files, which means you can download and view them locally on your device. Visual guides are so efficient that one of my patrons who goes by the Haymeister got the Platinum Trophy for The Witcher 3 in 19 hours and 47 minutes. Workbooks are perfect for tracking progress since they have checklists. If you're serious about trophy hunting, make a pledge. Check the links in the description or my pinned comment for more information. Backup saves, or what I like to call safety saves, ensure we always make forward progress and usually means we can skip multiple playthroughs. I will notify you in episode 1 if safety saves are an option for this series. Chapters make it super easy to follow along. Simply click the current step in the guide at the bottom of YouTube's media player. This will display all the timestamps as chapters to the right of the video. The current step is highlighted and shifts each time we complete a step. Select the gear in YouTube's media player and set the playback speed above normal. Ideally, you want to watch my videos at two times speed, but 1.5 should be the standard. This is especially useful for previewing episodes or even the entire series prior to the trophy hunt. Having an understanding of how the series plays out will answer a lot of your questions before you even play. If you feel like I'm going too fast, even at normal speed, simply slow down the footage. Each time we complete a step in the guide, especially when we find a collectible or pop a trophy, I tend to pause. It's rather awkward, but deliberate. This awkward pause gives you a few seconds to catch up with my gameplay if you're following in real time. This also lets you know that something very important just happened. It's a waste of your time and mine if you leave a question and it takes me, let's say, six hours to respond. Remember, it's about real-time trophy hunting, so a quick Google search could have you back on the hunt in no time. All my guides have gone through several hundred hours of test and at least two full platinum runs using the visual guide. I can assure you that if you do everything exactly as I do, 95% of your problems will be eliminated. Also, any random questions you might have will be answered. This might come in the form of commentary, gameplay, or that aha moment later in the guide. The other 5% will fall into three specific categories. Glitches. My advice is always the same. Fast travel, meditate, rest at a bonfire, do whatever it takes to reset the world state. You can also reboot your console, check for patches and updates, or rebuild your console's database. In extreme cases, contact Sony, Microsoft, or the developer. My mistake. Let me know if you find a mistake in my guide so I can fix it. If I have to make a correction, I'll insert a new video into the series or leave a note in my pinned comment. This is why you should always check my pinned comment before watching any video in the series. If you make a mistake, backtrack through the guide and use the timestamps to figure out the problem. Check comments for keywords, ask other members in the community, use the RTC visual guides and workbooks, or do a quick Google search. If I think of anything else, I'll leave it in my pinned comment, so check that out before watching episode one. Enjoy the series. My name is Exonovit. Be good.